Hi, I'm Gerald and today we're going to demonstrate how to connect a Linux Mint desktop workstation to a shared folder on Windows Server 2012 and to a shared folder on the Ubuntu server. We will also attempt to connect to the Apache web server to verify that it is working correctly. The first task is to connect the Linux Mint desktop to the shared folder on Windows Server 2012. In order to connect to Windows Server, we will need to select Connect to Server from the File menu. And to do that, we will go down here at the bottom to where it says Files and open the Files application. And then we'll go up to where it says File on the menu. We'll select it and then go down to Connect to Server. And then we can enter the IP address of this Windows server that we want to connect to. And in our case, it is 192.168.200.2. And we will be using the Windows share type. And we can just leave the share in the folder blank for now. And we'll type in the domain name, which is work group. And our username is John Smith. And we can type in his password. And just click connect. And this should connect us to the Windows server. Next, we can open up Project A and log in as John Smith here. And just click connect and this will log John Smith into the project a share and the first thing we want to do is test John Smith's permissions John Smith should have read and write permissions so to test the read permission we just open up the test document and it does open up so John Smith has read access Next, we can make a change to this document to test the write access. So we can just type in this is a change. John Smith. Mint. And then click save under file. And this does save. So this shows that John Smith does in fact have write access on this file. Next, we can log in as John Doe to test his permissions. So we can log out here. And go to connect the server and just type in the address here again. Windows share, domain name is workgroup. Username is John Doe. And type in his password. And click connect. Okay, to test John Doe's permissions, we can open the test document, and this shows that John Doe does have read permissions on this file. And to test the write permissions, we can make a change. John Doe. And then when we go to File and Save, it gives us an error message that says we cannot save the file. You do not have the permissions necessary to save this file. So this shows that John Doe does not have write permissions for this file. And close this and close without saving. Next we want to use the Linux Mint desktop to connect to the shared folder on the Ubuntu server. And to do this we repeat the process on the file, connect to server. 
and we just type in the IP address of the Ubuntu server, which is 192.168.200.3. And we can change the type to SSH, since we have the SSH installed on the Ubuntu server. And we can just type in jsmith username and type in his password. And click connect. And this logs us into the Ubuntu server. To check the shared folder, we need to click on the home directory and then go to shares. And project A is our shared folder. And we see our test file here. So to test John Smith's permission, we can open the file to test the read permission. And we can see that John Smith does have read permissions. And we can attempt to make a change and try to save it to test the write permissions and we see that it did write to this file so John Smith does have write permissions close this and disconnect for John Smith and then repeat the process for John Doe to test his permission so we just type in 192.168.200.3 for the server type is SSH John Doe is his username click connect and we just navigate to the shared folder And next we want to test John Doe's permissions so we can open the file to test read permissions and we can see that John Doe does have read permissions and we can make a change to test write permissions so John Doe was here Doe. and then when we go to save it it gives us an error it says you do not have the permissions necessary to save this file so this shows that John Doe does not have write permissions so everything does look good here this shows that John Smith has read and write permissions and John Doe has read only permissions which is what we wanted next we can test the Apache web server from the Linux Mint workstation. To do this, we can just go to the Firefox application and we can see that down here at the bottom. And when that loads up, we can simply type in the address of the Apache web server, which in our case is 192.168.200.3. And we have the It Works page. And this shows that everything is working correctly with the Apache web server. So this completes the Apache web server check and the demonstration of how to access a shared folder on Windows Server and Ubuntu Server from a Linux Mint desktop workstation.